the bigger risk you take, the bigger reward you get. That's a saying, right? I heard that hundred times. But what it really means to you, because you might be in a situation where you are thinking of quitting your job or you're in a situation where you want to get into your first investment property, but not sure if it's the right one for you or not. So in this video, I'm going to share my journey you know there are certain points where you know certain areas where i took those risks did some calculations did some thinking and of course there are situations where i lost some there are like you know situations i gained immensely so stick till the end i'll make sure give solid advice so you might be you know making your decision for those taking the risk or not will be as smooth as possible so make sure watch till the end Namaskar, my name is Aditya Soma. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're been following me already, you know, if you love this content, do me a small favor, smash that like button for all good purpose. And if you're new here, you know, uh, welcome. This is, you know, I'm a real estate agent, real estate investor, and also I have a team of, you know, real estate agents here in Windsor, Ontario called Win City Real Estate Team, where we help, you know, people like you to buy, sell, and invest for your better future. So, you know, the biggest reason for me to take this topic is, you know, I have seen a lot of my friends and, you know, my around my friends and family where they're afraid, more than 90% of the people, they're afraid to take the second step. I know they are capable of doing, you know, what they wanted to do, but you know what, they're afraid to take that risk because they think, all they think is the negative side of, what if this goes wrong, what if this goes wrong? You know, if you're in that situation, you will never come out, a you never live a life better. Because, you know, at the end, I have seen like so many people just die with regrets. I wish I could have done that. I wish I could have done that, but never did anything, you know, in your life. So hope this video will change your thought process. Because here, the first step, I'll start with the biggest risk I took in my life, which is, you know, I was new to Canada. I, so first of all, when I was in India, when I heard about Canada, I'm like, first of all, it's a huge risk. I'm coming from one country to another country, leaving all my friends, family, everything back. How do I, I'm gonna survive here? Not only that, my dad is taking a huge debt. So how can I pay back that debt? So that was a huge risk. But what I looked is like, okay, how many people have, you know, came to Western countries? And out of them, how many people have, you know, a better life than how they were before so when i talked to different people i found out at least 18 percent of the people have a better life here who came here so okay that's the answer one i found out that you know what there is better chances for me to succeed when i come here so fantastic i took the steps and thank god i'm here you know i have a really good life and the second story here i got my wife to canada and this is, you know, not many people know it. I actually married her secretly without telling my parents, without telling her parents, because only way I can get her here through that, uh, you know, work visa, which I can only get it if I get her, you know, officially marry her. That was a big step because a lot of emotions involved in it, but no one knows except me and her is this a best step or not? No one can even give me a right advice on that part. But I looked at, okay, you know what? What the worst thing could happen? If I don't bring her here, our, our relation gonna break. And I definitely felt like that's heartbreaking because I felt like she is meant for me, number one. Number two, in order to you know bring her here, the other way is to get her on the educational you know visa, which is money involved and i was already in the debt at that time i don't have more money to pay back and she doesn't have that money so i'm like that's not gonna work out that means either we wait or we take this step so if i have to get official marriage that's like whole drama from my family side so what we what i did i took that risk and you know now looking back it, it's been like six years now man thank god i made that risk i took that step thank god now she's like you know a power team for me like she's taking care of all my back and you know and, and we have a beautiful loving life so far so the risk would not have if i would not have taken that risk i would not have seen this rewards another story you know a lot of people coming to canada 
I was working in 9 to 5 as an IT guy and I was getting you know really this is not giving me what I'm looking for the financially I need I want more so I started to look into different things I found out about real estate and that's the point where like you know real estate investing then my mind started to tell me oh how what the heck you know about real estate whom do you have to help you no one knows you you know you don't know anyone you don't even have your friends you don't even have your family who can help you real estate side and you don't even know anything like you know you don't know what's a drywall you don't know what's a electrical you know knob and tube whatever the things i i didn't know anything and i still bought my first property that was a big risk for me but what i thought at that moment was you know what i looked into online i read some books I, I, I communicated with some people who owned real estate. I went to some networking events where I met other investors. So after ta doing all those like, you know, small research, I felt the people who invested 70, 80% of the time, they had ripped off solid benefits. So that means I have a 60, 70% or 80% chances to succeed. So you know what? I'm gonna go for it. And guess what? Now I have like, you know, 36 doors rental units, you know, that would not have happened if I would not have taken the first step, period. And here's another story. Uh, once I started, you know, real estate investing, I got into new development because that was, you know, shiny. I was been always attracted to that new construction. So I didn't do that much, uh, you know, calculations. I just partnered up with someone and I took on to that and I didn't you know calculate all those things i didn't really knew too much about new constructions but i said you know what this guy knows it and i'll jump on it and guess what happened i lost i took that risk and i lost yes i, I came out like with 80000 debt uh, in on that uh, deal but you know what at the end i learned my from my mistakes i learned what i made wrong on that one because I, I should not have first of all took that deal because I, I didn't do enough research on how much would it take to do a new construction what are the steps required to do a new construction and you know the partner who I partnered up with I should not have partnered up with him at the first place because you know he never even built anything in in Canada so I should have done my research properly but here's guess what even sometimes we do that mistakes that's okay and here's another story I was working nine to five. I was, you know, started to buy one or two properties at that time. And I was like, totally felt lost because of this job, because a lot of my time going for this work. And I felt like, you know, so many times, like I can do something better. And I didn't know anything. And then that's when I discovered about like, why not become a real estate agent? That's when like, you know, but I had a hundred thousand debt. Another fear was like, I don't know anyone. I don't have, again same fears came in then I said you know what let me think through I spent like days and days thinking through asking you know my wife some feedback on different areas then I said you know what F it I'm gonna do it yes there are so many fears and I took that risk and I jumped in as a real estate agent now you know what happened right we, we sold like 250 plus properties in two and a half years that's kind of a record i'm an icon agent in every year since i started an agent so that would not have happened if i would have stayed there at the same workplace and financially that was a huge difference now i'm literally making over and my annual income software job was now it's literally my monthly income actually more than that so that would not have happened if I would not have taken that step so let's keep it in a summary let's do it like you know here's what I'll tell you here's the three things I would recommend you do whenever you face a situation I'm not asking you to jump out of the airplane and do you know even if it's not out of your odds right so three things you got to think about number one what are your odds calculate your odds of succeeding at whatever you're looking to do or you know whatever you're looking to take that risk on right so your odds and and dream about you know how the life gonna look like if you do it all those positive things not the negative things that's the first step look about all the odds and the dreams and the number two think about the worst case scenarios like I said like you know when I quit my job I had hundred thousand debt but I still did the worst case scenario 
you know what i got to pay interest on that one that's my number one and i got to you know live and i had my wife working for 1500 dollars which is good enough for my survival so if i don't survive for next one year as a agent i'm going to go back and work hard for the same job and you know pay that one year debt so think about your worst possible scenarios that could happen if you take that risk and the last one number 3 is go with your gut feelings because your mom doesn't know better than yourself you yourself your wife doesn't know your friends doesn't know you know yourself 100% better because when i was quitting my job or when i was good getting into investing many people said like what do you know about it but i knew i can learn about it i knew i can network i knew so same way you know your shit not anyone else so go with your gut feelings so i'm pretty sure if you go with that and you stick to it you're consistent you're consistently taking actions i'm sure you will be succeeding whatever the risk you're taking on that's all i have for you today hope sure if if you like this video leave a comment below and make sure hit that smash that like button and check out the other videos if you love to see more content see you in the next video